One of the questions that we most frequently receive concerns the chance to harden alloys using age hardening, a specific thermal treatment. This question is very common because every manufacturer knows how useful it is to have a hard, strong jewel, especially with thin or filigree parts that are so commonly used today. It is the kind of alloy used that defines whether an item can be age-hardened or not. Sterling silver is well known to be age-hardenable, whereas, for example, a traditional brass does not increase its hardness in this way. How does age-hardening work? In a nutshell, the heat which is given to an item at a certain temperature and time induces a transformation in the alloy's microstructure which makes the alloy harder and less prone to bending or scratching. The effect is measurable with a hardness meter and it can be qualitatively experienced when trying to deform the piece. The working temperatures commonly used for silver and gold alloys are between 300 Celsius degrees and 450 Celsius degrees for a time of approximately 90 minutes followed by an air or furnace cooling. A regular 750 gold yellow alloy is easily hardened at 300 Celsius degrees for 90 minutes. This is the so-called single-step age hardening, which works just fine on hardenable gold alloys. Silver alloys, instead, will benefit from a preliminary step named homogenization. This is a high-temperature annealing made between 700 and 740 Celsius degrees for 40 minutes, followed by an immediate water quench, allowing the microstructure to obtain the best condition for precipitation of copper particles in the silver matrix, later done at lower temperature. This is the two-step age hardening process. The actual age hardening process after homogenization is done at 300 Celsius for 60 minutes, followed by air quenching. So, what are the key points to a good age hardening process? The first is to have an alloy that has good properties to this concern. Some alloys simply won't harden, so it is of no use to try this treatment. The second is that the item should have completed all of its deformation and soldering steps before going into the hardening furnace. Annealing again or applying a soldering torch after the hardening would destroy the hardened microstructure. Most easily, you can get information on if one of our alloys is hardenable or not by just checking our technical data sheets, where for each title the ASCAST and after hardening hardnesses are reported. On technical sheets, you will also find the correct hardening furnace temperature. You can also get more detailed information and scientific background on age hardening by checking our JTF archives where this topic has been extensively discussed. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more technical advices.